expansion set to open this spring at the Patterson Great Falls in New Jersey could have to wait. As CBS News Nick Calloway reports, federal regulators are concerned about asbestos nearby. For visitors and locals alike, the Patterson Great Falls is a natural wonder to behold. Huashu Jin teaches at a nearby school and comes here every day at lunch. It's very refreshing, soothing. Um, yeah, I'm proud of this. Just around the bend from the waterfall, the National Park Service is finishing up a $7.9 million expansion to the park, adding a river walk and more green space. We're planting trees, we have benches. Patterson Mayor like Andre Seya says right, like the river walk is key to revitalizing the city. It will enhance the aesthetic appeal of the Great Falls and also improve the visitor's experience. But the mayor got a letter from the EPA late last year pushing to delay opening the park to the public. The agency has concerns that the ruins of a nearby industrial plant could collapse, creating a catastrophic release of airborne asbestos, posing a danger to park visitors and staff. New Jersey's Department of Environmental Protection is also looking into those concerns. We do want to open, but obviously we don't want to put anyone in harm's way. The National Park Service issued a statement that the agency will work cooperatively and fully with both the EPA and the city of Patterson towards a safe, positive resolution. The mayor says he's meeting with the EPA again next week. Patterson's mayor told me best case, the asbestos could be contained and removed and the new park could still open in June. Worst case, it is delayed indefinitely. In Patterson, Nick Calloway. CBS 2 News. And the EPA says it is working with the mayor to address concerns about asbestos.